Hi, Carla here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I like to find the fun and magic in everyday things. So today I'm excited to share with you some things that I've discovered or have been doing this summer that I think will delight your senses. And I mean all of them. So come on, this is going to be fun. Now there's nothing better than relaxing on a hot summer day with an ice cold beverage that tastes delicious. And this summer rose refresher, say that three times fast, will definitely tickle your taste buds. And it all starts with this delicious rose elixir, which is basically made with rose petals, honey, and brandy. Now to see how I made it, check out this video for the full recipe. I'll put a link in the description box. And to this rose elixir, you can add club soda or tonic water. But if you really want to take it over the top, just add some elderflower tonic water. All I can say is it's wonderful. And it's so easy to make. Just pour the rose elixir over ice now, I added rose petals to my ice cubes, you know, just because it's pretty. And then add club soda or your tonic water, mix, and enjoy. Delicious. As part of my morning routine, I burn incense every day. So if this isn't your first time on my channel, you know I love incense, so much so that I make my own. <laughs> and today, I'm burning my own blend called Lavender HP. It's perfect for these summer months and smells wonderful. Now, if you're interested in making your own custom-made incense, I have a complete incense playlist dedicated to just that. And I'll leave a link in the description box. I journal in one or more of these journals every day. And friends ask, how do I stay inspired to write in my journals every day and not to get bored? Well, I tell them it's important to love the journal you're writing in. It should be a visual delight, so you're excited to open it and start writing. Warning, shameless plug approaching. Case in point, here is a fun journal that's currently available in my shop. I made this colorful journal using a children's little golden book. It has a happy 70s, hippie, summer loving vibe. <laughs> It makes me smile just looking at it. Now, if you're interested in this or any other journal in my shop, I'll put a link in the description box. Have you ever heard of binaural beats? It's really cool and it's helped me quite a lot. Now, without getting too geeky, binaural means having or relating to two ears. A different sound frequency is sent to the left and right ears through headphones simultaneously. Now when this happens, the brain interprets the mathematical difference 
in the frequencies as one consistent rhythmic frequency, which is known as binaural beats. The brain then produces brain waves of the same frequency in the listener. So now what's so cool is, depending on what you wanna work on, you would choose music or a binaural beat with that frequency. For example, if you're just trying to relax a little or get stress relief, you choose something in the alpha range of eight to 14 Hertz. If you really need to focus or to be analytical, come up with solutions, you choose music in the beta range of 14 to 30 Hertz. Now, if you really wanna go deep for healing, meditation, pain relief, you choose something in the delta range at one to four hertz. You get the idea. Try it. You will be surprised. Now, I'll put two links in the description box. One with a tone test so you can see for yourself how it works. And the other has a link to beautiful binaural music to listen to. Now, don't forget, it only works using headphones. And finally, after an active summer day, it's nice to wind down in a soothing, relaxing bath. And this oatmeal coconut milk bath leaves skin soft and silky to the touch. Now, this recipe uses equal parts ground oatmeal, powdered coconut milk, and Epsom salt that you can whip up in no time. Now, I used a half cup for each. I also added one tablespoon of dried lavender and a few drops of lavender essential oil blend well and don't worry some chunks are okay you can use this two ways you can either make sachets like this for easy cleanup But as you'll see, just adding it directly to the water, the particles are pretty small. But either way, it's a luxurious, soothing bath. And I can't wait to get in. If you've enjoyed this video of summer sensory delights, please give it a thumbs up. Now here's a question for you. What sensory delights have you discovered and enjoyed this summer? Please share in the comments section so we can all try it and be delighted. <laughs> okay, I'll see you on the next adventure.